All right, people, welcome back. More D and Duel commentary. So we are joined by Omega. Hi, Omega Chaos here. And it is Omega Chaos's birthday, so. Yep, it is. Be sure to go over to Omega's channel, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, like all of their videos, and then say happy birthday. <laughs> Every <laughs> single video, <laughs> like it. <laughs> How many videos yeah. do you even have on your channel? I have over uh, like 600. Yep, yep, there you go. You guys have one hell of a job today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least it's not like liking all of my videos. I'm almost at like... Yeah, you have like like 2,000 or more. No, I'm almost at 4,000. I think I'm at like 3,900 <laughs> something, so... <sighs> I work so hard on my channel. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. More Dando commentary. We have Dark Archon here at 1131 uh, and Fear... 957 at 1184 and of course you see seeing the magic specters of course yeah i have been seeing magic specters like everywhere right now i mean they're a really good deck you know they're a pendulum yeah, deck that. they can have access to rank four shenanigans they search their own traps that are pretty powerful so i mean no complaints there yeah i am like i was playing uh magic specters in their prorated and i'm gonna be in top 15 with them so yeah yeah. They are a really powerful deck for sure. I think they could possibly win worlds, especially since they haven't been touched at all. You know. Yeah. So it's just. But might have... should definitely be limited immediately. Yeah. Like that card is just too broken. Yeah, if only it was just for its own archetype, but you just throw it in there, you know. Just like yeah, because the... like you can't depend on someone in, in its own archetype because they are just scales two and uh, five, <laughs> or not higher. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're seeing a Magic Drain train to the Twin Twister. That's cute and all. I, the, my problem with, ma with Magic Drain is that, sure, your opponent, you know, is like, oh, well, if they don't have a spell, then they get it. But they get to choose, you know? I'd rather just say, like, you know what? If I'm going to block it, I block it. Like, I would rather that be yeah, like... Even uh, Magic Chandler is better than his Magic Drain at all. <laughs> yeah, because he's like, fuck it. I mean, I don't really need this soul charge. I'd rather clear... I mean, what's more important? Some spell in my hand that may or now be useful later? Or clearing up that back row against Magic Spectres? Clearing up the back row with Magic Spectres. So definitely go ahead and... Yep. Uh, crack the scale and got rid of his Tempest. Not bad. Not bad. So, it was like Magic Drain. And then when you flip up that Magic Drain, then that's, you know... Like, did he even select his targets? Like, I don't even think Fear selected his targets before he changed that drain. Don't you have to select your targets first? Yes, you have to. So, he didn't even select his targets. So, for all we know, he could have selected the Magic Drain, but it was like Twin Twister, and then he just chained the Magic Drain, and he's like, okay, well, I'm going to stop the Magic Drain, and I'm going to select these two, and not that Magic Drain, because, of course, you already activated it. So, yep, good job there. <laughs> and, of course, the other deck is burning this variant of some sort. Yep. So now we're just seeing a poking of graph. Well, uh, I mean, why? I mean, of Sir, the other one. Yep. Because <laughs> why not? I mean, that Spectre's got to get your scale set up, and it seems like Dark Archon is doing the problem with what I feel is the, is with pure magic Spectres. Yeah, we can't really run it pure. You have to run that other um, engine in it, like magicians or. Yeah, because you want them to be your pendulum thoughts. scale, not themselves. And then we're seeing the powerful. Powerful blow you out yeah, of the water, mirror force. Mirror force. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I actually decided to change that for the league because uh, we've been seeing people's decks, they haven't really been playing it, and at this point, I really don't care. Yeah, you know, like if you run into it, it's your fault. You know, they can change their side deck, you can run multiple, multiple. Um, oh my god, of course, and and of course. And we're seeing you the broken, the, the disgusting card of demise. This card should be banned. <laughs> Maybe limiting will be fine at first. The problem with limiting it is that it, then it would just be a staple. People would just be thrown in decks even if they go fast, and then just trying to empty their hand out as soon as possible, because at that point it would just be a graceful charity for everyone. That's the problem. Not I, have, the I, have, I, have, I have no problem with it being like this sort of anti-meta for the last end deck, but it's a graceful charity on crack. That's my problem with it. Like, it's Magic Spectres. They're a pendulum-based deck. They're fast. They're strong. Yeah, there's card yep. device. Please too. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna play the strike so he doesn't search, but he doesn't die though. Yep. Like, I, 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 I think Konami had good intentions, but in the end of the day, I think it's just a flop. It's similar to, uh, to a uh, pot of cupidity. It's just like you think that there's enough stops and restrictions on it, but in the end of the day, no. <laughs> 
because I mean, well, at least it's not as broken as it was in the anime. In the anime, it was like throw five. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always with the anime cards. It always is. They 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 try and in the end they always fail. Ah, oh, we're seeing that summon of that terror top. Yep. Yeah, some say that the terror top should be limited, but then the speed rays are going to be completely dead without it. I would be fine with just Dante going away. Like, I'm sick and tired yeah. of Dante not being the boss monster of Burning Abyss, but just being this accessible mill three kind of card trooper extra deck card. Like, if you hit Dante, I seriously doubt anybody's gonna really try to pull off the terror top combo. I mean, I guess that's yeah. kinda cute, maybe in like some kind of weird variant of like PK fire with the remaining some burning abyss. Just throw in the terror top and ter and Taka Tomborg and bust out that first turn Dante as soon as possible with mill three, but then that's pretty much all you're gonna get, you know? Yeah, Dante's really the main enabler in the deck. Mm -hmm. So uh, Without it we really want too much. Yeah. If that's what they want to do, if they want to start playing Exceed Reborn, that's kind of cute, but you got to keep in mind they're still... It's really the milling. It's really the milling that they want to get yep. out of Dante. So, if they want to play Exceed Reborn, equip it and detach, it's kind of slow, though. It really is. But I think I think to, to keep the deck alight, they probably go to those extremes. It's interesting. Uh, we're seeing uh, just the hatred that is not just Spectre's rivalry, of course, because everybody's a spellcaster. But uh, he went a machine, summon a machine, and go into a machine. So that, that's Hello. all good. That's super quantal. Have to go ahead and start popping some of them sets. And that 28 booty for a generic rank 3 is nothing to scoff at. Definitely. So Yeah, not bad. Seeing another uh, Magic Spectre, Raccoon, Bunka Bunkaboo, whatever. Still kind of pricey, really. But it is like the big yeah, it is card very difficult to get. Mm -hmm. So uh, you gotta go into the spellcaster rank three uh, at the top of my mind. I don't think there is one. Yeah, but to say, okay, he's like, I thought I had one. I was like, I can't think of one off the top of my mind. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> exist. Okay, at least right now. So just attack the set monster, I guess. I probably could have attacked it a couple turns ago. No, you're not gonna attack. Okay. So I guess that's one more card that we're going to see uh, Brand Pulse pop. Brand Pulse is pretty powerful. Definitely say it's up there in the top five best rank three, generic rank three monsters right now. Yep, possibly. So with Burning Abyss, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm thinking that maybe we'll just go ahead and maybe copy and pick well, another Dying Mirror 4. See, this is the problem with why I wanted to hit on League, but then, you know, if he's decided against it, it's because multiple back rows of that card like you get blown out once shame on you you get blown on twice i mean uh, come on you get blown out three fucking times by that card <laughs> like that'd just be that'd just be ugh so much back row. yeah like how many traps does sky fucking run of course just throwing card in mines because you can like okay it's gonna strike him again and of course, strike. I don't understand why that burning abyss player didn't uh, destroy the rivalry because now it's locking the burning abyss player down pretty much. It really is. Mm -hmm. Like, what what is your plan? Like, I don't understand. Like, are you gonna try to? I don't know what your set cards are. I don't know what your hand is, but your field. You're slowly and but surely you're gonna get jumped. Ah, yep. Pendulum well, that's going. pretty random. Yep. So I'll go ahead and summon that broke ass Keaton because why the fuck not, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep, and scoop. Yep. There's so many cards like this. This list, like I swear to Christ, this upcoming list, whenever it is, like it's a problem with fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, that the game can easily, with a couple of cards, can turn to shit, and we never know when this this problem is gonna get fixed. Yeah, because the July lists have always been pretty bad so far. So we have, like, we can only hope, like, for the fall or something. Yeah, so if we get a July list, like it'll that. probably just be, like, maybe a couple of clean-up cards for Worlds, you know. I, can, I don't even see, like, like Cosmos getting hit, because that has nothing to do with Worlds. They can't even show up at Worlds. So if it doesn't really concern Worlds, I doubt it. You know, it's July lists have always just been kind of anticlimactic. We don't generally yeah. get that good, awesome list till the fall, so... I mean, do we really have to wait all the way till then to actually get some shit done? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, 
with frickin' just Konami, TCG just getting on my nerves every single time. Oh, yeah, whenever we feel like it. Like, really? Really? Fuck you. Like, at least OCG sticks to, the, like, the V-Jump. Like, I don't even care if it's little. I thought, I'd rather be scheduled and have a little shitty list than fucking just whenever you feel like it. Well, the last OCG list was pretty much non-existent. But at least they I got a list. I mean, we're just kind of yeah. sitting here like, maybe July, maybe August, maybe September... I don't know, <laughs> so... Yeah, that kind of sucks that we don't even know when we get the list. <laughs> All right. Like, one of the most, most exciting things about Yugi was the panelist season, and now that's pretty much gone. Mm -hmm. Makes me really lose the... I used to always love doing panelist prediction, now it just kind of makes me feel like I don't want to do it anymore, because there's just no point. I don't know when Konami's going to do anything. Yeah, well, just, like just, 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 just leave! Just... Then this fucking card's broken. See, you man? See that right there? You get to draw three because why the fuck not? Like, mm mm, mm mm. Get rid of this card. Get rid okay. of it now. Sure. Ah, uh, all right. We'll get another duel. Bear back. Okay, we are back. We got Mayurujin, one one seven at ten, a thousand and thirty three. I thought he's playing Mox, of course, on extra deck. And the Fire Squire at oh. ten seventy eight. Uh. Mare went first, did nothing. Squire went, did nothing, and then we're back at uh, Mare's second turn. Of course, broke ass pantheism. I mean, come on, like that card should also yeah. be played. <laughs> like, yeah, monarchs are probably, probably my most hated deck in the current meta. Yeah, me too. Me too. Mm. I don't mind Cosmos. P uh, PK. I just don't. I I I, I can't stand. The, the the just the abuse of Dante. That's what I can't stand. The Phantom Knights are pretty powerful. I I mean I probably can't see Brick Sword lasting at three for, you know, forever. I probably think that that's probably the card that's gonna get hit for Phantom Knights if they ever do hit Phantom Knights. Yeah, if they start topping as a pure deck. Yeah. But I don't know how likely that is. Yeah, like I said, first cut down the Burning Abyss, cut down the Dante. Then we'll see what they do. If they don't do anything, and it's just Phantom Knights just being like this kind of rogue cute deck. Sure, more power to you. Can you know do your thing? But if they continue to persist, because there's no argument, PK is amazing. Like their field effects are good. Their graveyard effects are good. Their exceeds are good. Like they they're like borderline dragon rulers at times. Like holy crap! Ooh, catch that Veiler doubt. Catch that Veiler. God, Veiler is so strong. They're like one of the yep. strongest cards in this format because everybody can get hurt by it. Uh, what else? What else? Draco Pals. Draco Pals uh, Sorcerer. Like, fucking. So wow. Of course. <laughs> Hello? Expected. Wow, didn't see that coming. Just Sorcerer. Like I said, I, I'm probably speaking blasphemy, but what OCG did, I think we should just do maybe something different. I don't mind. I don't mind Monkey Board. Monkey Board is only as strong as the Pendulum Scale that you activate and you get your one search. Alright, that's fine. That's not bandwidthy. Sorcerer, on the other hand, is. A level four, multi-use, multi-summon from the deck, pop two, search two, like, Sorcerer is the one, if you're going to ban anybody, it should be Sorcerer. <laughs> yeah. Sorcerer is on crap. Like, the only reason why that deck is what it is right now is because Sorcerer is not banned. Or, or hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, like, a fire squad. I don't know what you're doing, but interesting. So, getting the revenge. Kai, it seems like a kind of old school chaos deck, like, mm -hmm. back from back then. Or something like that. Seriously, you wanna go ahead and take that thousand boy? And here comes that twenty-seven and that twenty-four. Wow. Lord Battle Fader. Wow, Battle Fader. I mean, that's more of a side deck card. I mean, if you're main decking it, all right then. <laughs> wow, and these two. This is this is weird. Monarchs, of course. I mean, domain monarchs. That deck has just fallen off. It really has. Like. Yeah, and monarchs. now the extra deck monarchs are a lot more. I'm kind of curious, is with with extra deck monarchs being you know the shit, uh, and with Konami of course keeping an eye and watching that. I'm kind of wondering if they're just gonna forego even hitting domain and maybe hit something else. Yeah, they probably won't hit domain anymore. I guess the reason why extra deck monarchs are now considered better is that they are a lot more versatile, while domain monarchs are are, are very linear. They kind of rely. On domain and not all decks uh, rely on X deck nowadays. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, and we're actually seeing a mug, a mug of I'm done. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Angamar. There you go. <laughs> Actually being used. Uh, he came out, and I don't think anybody played him. Like yeah. One, I think he's like the latest monarch, and no one played him. I mean, in monarch, in New Age monarchs, he's not bad. Banish a spell, add the same spell. You can go ahead and banish a tenancy, add a tenancy, banish a monarch, so forth, add a monarch, so forth. So. <laughs> okay, what? What's that? <laughs> yeah, good job. Yep. So, I don't know. I mean, of course, pantheism. Like, there's no other kind of thoughts about it. Pantheism, yes. But what else? I mean, there's so many good things in Monarchs. Like, I don't know. I don't think Monarchs start forth. What do you think? Well, of Tenacity course. The like you said, and then maybe something else. Like I said, I'm if it's not, not sure. domain, then what else? You know? Tenacity lower the Maybe Aether. The light uh, Aether, yeah. I could definitely say yeah. Aether. Because she, she... Yeah. Monarch Stone Force is powerful, but then Monarch Stone plus, plus her tributing during your turn is even more ridiculous. So, I could yeah. see that. Summoning from the deck is pretty powerful, too. So, yeah. I could see that. I could see yeah. that. You must return to your hand to get set up for, for further plays. That's, that's kind of ridiculous as well. So, you could definitely see that. Does domain work for both players, or does it only work for the opponents? If it triggers a monster, you control. Never mind. Alright. Yep. But your opponent also doesn't... Uh, if your opponent controls the tribute from some then the effect, uh, it's, it's not active anymore. Wow. Wow. So, we are seeing... Wow. Wow. wow, give them that wink, but it's just, these old monarchs, like, who the fuck is Caius and who the fuck is Ryza? N never heard of Lots. these guys, it's, it, I don't know, these, these fucking grapple monarchs right here. <laughs> I mean, Ryza's still nothing to scoff at, go ahead and put that card on top of your deck, son. Oh, are you gonna go ahead and play during your opponent's turn because you fucking can? Of course. A uh, fucking horse. Yeah, yeah, that should probably be Can they, they do that even? Activate the Aether first and then chain Monarch store for because I don't think you would be able to activate the effect if you don't have a, a tribute folder already on the field. I think you have to first activate Monarch store for and then chain. Okay, I'm confused. How the hell did then, you... Oh, because he summoned a tribute summon monster. Is that it? Maybe, I'm not sure. That's how he summoned the Aether with only one tribute. It's good, there's a tribute summon monster. You can tribute summon this card by tribute one tribute summon monster, his monarch. Uh. Hurry up and get in the house. Close the door. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should be Aether. Yep. Now, will Konami do it? Probably not. I was thinking, like I said, I was thinking about doing a video of like top five cards that Konami should hit that they probably won't hit. I'll probably throw her on there because. Should Konami hit Aether? Yes. Will they? I doubt it. <laughs> then of course abuse with Kuraz as well. Oh, Draw more cards and yeah, stuff that like that. that, that Kuraz well. abuse, yeah. So it looks like Fire Square over here is playing like these classic monarchs, but you, you can't compare. You cannot compare to the power of new monarchs. Not even close. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I guess it's a it, really stack. Chaos stack. Honest? Possible. Yep. Yep. Man, if only that battle fader wasn't there, this would have been game. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically. Huh. But now, I mean. My Claire, of course, has six cards in his hand. His fill is set up. He has Pantheism in the graveyard. Like, man, I'd say Pantheism and F and Big White Bitch. They, they should probably both be limited. That'd be fun. Fine. <clears throat> Monarch Stone Force is strong, but it's only as strong as fucking Aether going off during my turn and tributing my shit. Like, that's annoying. Okay, I did. 
Ah, oh, fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Swear to Christ. Like, so many things need to be cleaned up on <laughs> this fucking, on this fucking game. This game is shit. <laughs> And the anime is right now is not much better either because I right now I really hate Yuya's character. Yuya's not really doing much. Like like the latest of what's going on in the anime is really slow. Like his duels are kind of boring. Fucking yep. fucking Phoenix, he's he, his deck is shit. Like <laughs> like holy crap! Like for all the OP shit that comes out, like I wouldn't mind a couple of fucking nice strong Destiny heroes, and it looks like he's gonna change sides. Like okay, I guess. Wow. Yeah, I should give him Stormforth so he can tribute your shit. Full cool story, though. So I wouldn't be surprised if he just goes Stormforth tribute your. Oh, never mind. Yep. As his idea and his idos, and that's powerful too. But like I said, it's this mostly the tributers. If you want to go ahead and use these two for other monarchs, I don't care, but it's just, it's just, just big white bitch and big black asshole guy. <laughs> like, they're both just jerks and sending that fucking pantheism and that fucking prime and getting all set up. It's just disgusting. And that. Like, like Fire Square, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's nice to see your classic monarchs, your creativity, but I'm sorry. Fucking mirror over here went to Walmart and bought three structure yeah, decks. You're so. just so out of class, it's not too funny. <laughs> you bought three structure decks from Walmart, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's a sad thing, like, I don't think he's, I mean, besides what, Battle Fader? There hasn't been, like, a single card that he's played that you couldn't get out of three structure decks. <laughs> well, I think oh, that's not really a problem for me. I think the problem is that that deck is broken. I don't really care how much it costs. I mean, it's just so disrespectful. So disrespectful. It's like, you, what? You took time and effort and actually created and made and worked on your deck? Ha! I'll beat your ass with this fucking deck that I bought from Walmart. <laughs> like, there's, there hasn't... There hasn't been a time since, like, what? Since, since Pendulum Magicians that a structure deck has been Tier 1. Like, generally, structure deck from Tier 1. You could see them... Maybe pop up every once in a while. Maybe Dark Worlds, maybe when they were in their prime. And Agents, of course. Oh, yeah, well. and Agents. Yeah, back, and back, agents. In the, in the yeah, yeah, back in the day. Back in the day, buy three Agents structure decks, stop them together, be ass. I think that was like back when I was just coming back into Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, because it was when I was in summer school for my senior year. Yep. I went to the store, bought three structure decks, and I was just beating the shit out of people at the summer school because I fucking could. <laughs> like an Agents with three is just like, wow. But they got the shit kicked out of them, like, and they didn't take a while to fucking get this shit back, so, um... Yeah, and uh, uh, when they got the shit back, it, the deck was pretty bad. Outclass, then, so... Because... Yep, so, Monarchs... The deck wasn't really bad. Okay. Yep, Monarchs, go ahead. Get the shit out of this deck. I want to see fucking Pantheism ban, Stormforth ban, Domain ban, <laughs> Return... <No, that's... laughs> I don't think they will go to, to that extreme. Yeah, like you said, they'll probably Pantheism in something. If it's domain, then I guess you're just kind of copying off of OCG, but then fucking Monarchs would still be there, because we, we see them in OCG would still, they're willing their shit. Especially with fucking um, Gofu coming out and then having Gofu plus Prime and doing shenanigans like that with Ultimate Chazulkin, like that would be fun. Fire Squad, you need to scoop it up. Like, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, but you need to scoop still it up. Still worth holding on. No, you got two cards that this man's fucking seven. Cards in hand, six cards in hand, and five on the field. Wow. Like if you didn't block with if you didn't block with that battle fade, I would have gave it to you. You would have gamed them, but outside of that, I'm just not sure. <laughs> I think he would have been a little bit more cautious with his uh his play, but yeah. So Saiyan Dragon, seriously in 2016. Yeah, he's gotta play his it's a tribute fighter, man, for his monarchs. And then, of course, we're probably going to see some more Ether shenanigans. What? BLS? Is it time? Cow Sorcerer. Oh, Cow Sorcerer. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and flip up Monarch Stormforth. Tribute his shit. Tribute your shit. And summon another one. Summon Karaz. Pop his shit. Play during your opponent's turn because fucking... But, like, oh my god, what were they thinking with her? No. Wow, that actually went through. Can you summon your, uh... Your dragon that you search for? You might be able to wrap No, no, he has Prime in the graveyard. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. He has Prime. 
I was like, oh, can you wrap this up? Like, no, no, you can't. No. <laughs> no. So I've been trying. Shaking my head. And D and you can't summon it properly at all. You have to do something really weird, like put it back to your hand and then put it to the field, but that's cool story, bro. You up all the cards in your hand, your play wasn't bad, and it's just if you didn't have Prime in the graveyard, once again, he just has the shit. Yep. And then yeah, get even more cards. Yep. And I said I might do that video. Probably after League has started, I'll probably do that. Five cards that Konami should hit, that, but probably won't. <laughs> Alright. Yep, yep. Please, Konami. Why didn't you hit Pantheism? Like, how? <laughs> like, I guess they were just like, you know what? We really need to sell the Monarch Structure deck. We have no other income coming in. So... We won't hit it, everybody will pick up more Monarch Structures because they didn't pick it up already, and we'll just make oodles, oodles of money. Like, alright. I think Pantheon uh, could have been fine if it didn't have that graveyard effect. Yeah, if it I didn't have the graveyard that, effect, it would have been that, fine. No one cares. It'd be like fucking trade-in or something. Like, sure, yep. you even out, but then you plus off the search. Like, that's the problem. Like, <sighs> and it can search for itself. <laughs> And can search it in the same turn you activate that yep. card. And in the same turn. Like, are you on crack? Like, cards like that would be like, except during the turn that it's into the graveyard. You know? They can always been doing that a lot lately, but now. And Monarch's effect, uh, effect sent, sent to the graveyard as well for free. Yep. And you got those two, those two not Mega Monarchs, my, Mega Monarchs su supposedly support, but not you're not playing them anyway cards. Fucking just, just send them for you. Yep. Can we go out? Just fire. 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 <laughs> Swear to Christ. Hit that admit defeat button. Like, I don't even know why we're still watching you fucking do it right now. Like, you already lost. <laughs> Indeed. Scoop it up. Maybe he thinks can top deck something really top good. Top deck what? Like... <laughs> Maybe like Eki. <laughs> Lots. Even Regeki, he would still have to have monsters on the field to do something. This monster's about to get killed right now. Or does he have enough damage, plus he still would have Prime, like... <sighs> Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Maybe he hopes for a deck cut because that uh, Monarchia player only has like... 9 cards. That'd be nice. Or 8. Probably but even then, can just recycle the Monarch's Purge with Prime Monarch and won't deck out anytime soon. Oh, what were you saying? GG! No, no, oh. no, 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 not GG, you got slaughtered. Like, you could have won, but instead you got slaughtered. What is freaking Epic doing in here? <laughs> Hold. Uh, I'm just gonna pause and then we'll come back. I don't even know why we're still watching this. Like, it's it's probably just gonna be in a slide. Like, fire your players. They were they were kind of fired for classic monarchs, but it just got slaughtered. Yeah, the monarch player pretty much has to prick for the other player to have a chance mm -hmm. at all. Once again, but it says duel early gonna begin like the last duel. Yep. <laughs> I'm playing Marks, I don't have anything, so you go. Oh, I'm playing Marks, I don't have anything, so you go. Oh, now I have something, I'm gonna attack you, and I got Pantheism. Go ahead and play Pantheism. Oh, of course. God damn, is Daniel psychic? <laughs> Not really, because it's really expected play. <laughs> uh, this duel is beginning exactly the same way as that last duel. Like... <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I've never liked Monarchs. Like that's that's that, that's the thing that really ticks me off is that I've never liked them, and this new resurgence or reincarnation, I don't like it either. So yeah, it's, same here. It's just like oh, first I was getting the shit kicked out of me by fucking Caius and Ryzen, and now I'm getting the shit kicked out of me because you have a broken ass draw card and your monsters are broken and fucking your domain locks me out of my extra deck. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that Konami decided to make this shit. Mm-hmm. You gonna go ahead and get return? Oh, 
Don't go back there, okay. So, does that mean that you have the S already in your hand? Oh, yeah. Because that, that is some straight up shenanigans. Like, fuck that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna die of cancer. Just the thought of this deck being in league. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely not look, looking forward to uh, playing against that deck. Mm -mm. I mean, at least only two people have it, and it's one of the three decks, so you yep. may not face it. But I mean, if you face one of them in just playoffs, then you're gonna face it. Unless they don't play it in one of the rounds, but... <laughs> Damn, catch well, this that Baylor. Helps. I mean, that helps, but then of course... It is gonna go to graveyard, get you back that pantheism, and then that's just gonna be stupid too. So, yep. <laughs> At least slows them down quite significantly. Mhm. Mm Valor is great. I think Valor is good against everyone this format, really. Not against Cosmo. Uh... It depends on when they summon that tin can. No, I'm on specters. <laughs> oh well. Not the Spectres, they can be, I don't even know what the fucking Konami was thinking with that deck. That deck can go be a fat deck. <laughs> I, I seriously don't know what Konami was thinking when they made that deck. Yeah, what the true. fuck you mean the entire fucking archetype came to target and destroy my card effects? <laughs> I, oh my god. I said, should they hit Keating? Definitely. Will they? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. <laughs> but right now, Kirin is played in almost every pendulum base deck, given performance now. What? They're playing it too? How do they play yep. it? Do they actually have scales that high? Well, you know that you know that Unicorn exists, who is a performance monster. Ah, oh, so that's their upper scale. Isn't isn't Gita Turtle generally their upper scale, though, so they can draw? Yeah. Generally, yeah. But, but I guess yeah. you can just summon Sorcerer and get rid of it when well. you're ready to pop it, and then summon the key. And you just throw some Apex fucking Avions in there while you're at it. Just, oh. Yeah, Apex Avion is another card that might uh, might get hit because, yeah, it's so easy, easy to summon nowadays. Mm -hmm. They would probably go ahead and run over to that if they don't hit Keating. I mean, if they hit Keating, they'd be like, okay, I'll just play extra Apex Avion, that's fine. <laughs> Same shit, literally, just as powerful. <laughs> like that fucking episode of Daily Duels where that guy went first when Pendulum Call set up his skills and then summoned Keating and Apex Avion on my ass. Like, uh, scoop? <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, GG, I guess. <laughs> One time that happened to me as well. You're just shaking your head like, why do I play this game? <laughs> yep, yep. You got enough cards in your fucking hand? God damn. <laughs> yep. This is cancer. This right. This is this is cancer. That works. That you would maybe wait for him to actually do something with, with the return, like tribute summon, and then activate it at the end of the chain, so it would be on the field to resolve. Then I guess. Yeah, not that I made at all. Damn. Catch this guy later. You can you can draw a shit ton of cards. You can have all the cards in the hand in you in the world. I don't care, but you ain't fucking do it in your fucking idea. <laughs> God damn. But then once again, he'll just go ahead and get that freaking <sighs> Pantheism. I guess that's why so many don't play at AI anymore, because it's uh, if you get way out of Phoenix Chain you are kinda of screwed. Damn. Well, no more summoning on us. <laughs> Ask this man if he gives a shit. He doesn't care, he's gonna poke you down. Yep. Yep. You gonna return that on us to the main face too? Bad fade at all. <laughs> oh my god. Personally, I wouldn't use Battlefader that rarely if you're not in danger of being, yeah, having your life points zero. But, <laughs> Maybe he yeah. just wants something to tribute, because every single time he summons Shrinking Idea gets veiling, so he's like, fuck it, I'll just summon <laughs> my own uh, tribute fighter. Yep. Go ahead and put that back, draw a card, take your turn, draw a card. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. I 
Pantheism, of course. Then you get your search. Then probably play Pantheism. Oh, like God's like now has like nine cards in hand. Yep. And of course he puts the tenacities back, so more tenacity. Woo! The Veilers aren't gonna save you from much longer. You about to get that shit kicked out of you, yeah? What? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you actually gonna drop her right now? And maybe you do something else this turn and then prepare next turn for white bitch. But nope, here she comes. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's fine. Think you might have like another Gors or something? <laughs> yeah, possible. That'd be nice. <laughs> so, go ahead and some, send your two. Yep. Yep. Disgusting. Set up that Pantheism again for next turn for more searching and more blessing. Yep. Nice 56, or do you got that gores? I have that gores. 28, 28, yep. Oh, no, no, we got crazy. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Go and activate that man because why not? Get that card out of your hand. I mean, you already got six cards. You can't, you know, you don't want to discard during the end phase. You just had to draw, sh get it, shit ton of resources during your hand and, and deplete it all. Yeah. Your turn. You go. All right. Your turn, Fire. What do you got? I seriously, doubt okay, you have anything. I can hold it down. I seriously, doubt you have anything to hold it down. Cast okay, sir. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so sir, vanish. All right. Of course, that prime, that prime is always in the graveyard, ready to block your attacks. Okay, I'm back. DD Crow. Oh my God. Well, DD Crow. That's DD fucking random. Crow. You know he can chain that, right? Yeah. I mean. Now, see, uh, you should have waited. He should have. You, you should have went. Did something to make him activate Prime, then train DD Krell. So, yep, you messed that up. It was. I mean, it's a fine idea. DD Krell, the Prime is just no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. At DD Krell, back at it again. Yep, yep. Just go ahead. And that's no, that wasn't uh, GG. That was once again a slaughter. Like, all right, we're done. Much. Fucking ah. Uh. All right, so, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed that fucking cancer that we call you, Yale. <laughs> Thank you, Omega Cash, for joining me. No problem. Join the always. So, uh, be sure to wish happy birthday to Omega Chaos. Uh, subscribe to Omega Chaos channel if you haven't already. Link in the description. Uh, after that purge, Omega Chaos needs to get all the subscribers back, so subscribe. <laughs> Freaking purge, everybody oh. got it. Freaking PewDiePie lost 600,000 subscribers. <laughs> oh. My god damn. I think, I think Mega Capital G lost like, I want to say, 3,000? And I think like, I think the highest was like, um, Simply Unlucky, I think lost like 60,000. Like, in the Yugi tipping community, like everybody's just lost that purge though. Anyway, I lost like 50 if you're wondering. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine, because hopefully you get to draft like season 2. I'm gonna earn them all back, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Make cast of course, and you get your draft league coming back for season 2. It will be to support them. Uh, I believe you switched teams. I believe you went to uh, Utah, right? If you with the Phantom Knights. Yep. So, yep, be sure to support them. All right, people, thanks for watching.